Hello everybody, welcome back to Sophisticates by Mary. This is a little bonus video. I've had so many questions on how I make my fondant. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you how I make it. Now, disclaimer, this is not my recipe. This is Liz Merrick's recipe. And I will link all of her um, information so that you can go directly to her page also and see her stuff, she's awesome. So if that sounds good, stick around. We'll get right to it after the intro. Now, to make this recipe, these are the ingredients that you're going to need. You're going to need a two pound bag of powdered sugar that you will sift, 16 ounces of marshmallows, I like the off-brand, 20 ounces of Wilton or satin ice fondant, two tablespoons of warm water, and four ounces of shortening. Now, I find it very important to go ahead and sift the powdered sugar. I know it's monotonous, nobody wants to do it, but it actually really does help, especially in humid climates or when it's, you know, in your humid time of the year to prevent yourself from having those little balls of powdered sugar that you have to pick out. Just go ahead and sift it. It's way easier. And I have used all kinds of marshmallows and honestly, the off-brand I find works best. I don't know why, but make sure that you have a fresh bag. Squeeze the marshmallows in the store and make sure that they are soft because if they are starting to harden, your fondant will be really, really stiff and very hard to work with. Now pop this in the microwave for 40 seconds to begin with. And this is what you'll have. It'll be starting to soften in the middle a little bit. Stir it up and then put it back in your microwave for two to three more sessions of 30 seconds. And that's after the second one. See, it's a little bit so more softened up, but you can still see the shape of the marshmallows a little too much. So pop it in your microwave one more time for 30 seconds. And now it's starting to fluff up a little bit. But I think I go ahead and I do it one more time just because you can still see a little bit too much of the shape of the marshmallows. They want to be um, puffed up and, and fluffy. Like that. That's what you want. You don't really see the shape of the marshmallows anymore. Now you add in your warm water. And what this does is it actually helps to loosen your marshmallows from the side of the bowl. And adds just a little bit of moisture at the same time because your next step, you're gonna pour it in your, the bowl of your mixer where you've already placed the shortening. You're gonna pour it in there and then you're gonna use your paddle attachment and mix the two together for just, you know, a minute, maybe a minute. And that's when you will start adding your powdered sugar. I think I turned this on to about a number two or a number three. You want it to be on your low end of your medium range. You just want to start incorporating those. Now it's actually not going that fast. I just sped up the video. I think I cranked it up to about a four and then obviously back down again and start putting your powdered sugar in one cup at a time until you get about half of your powdered sugar into the bowl. I think there's eight cups in a two pound bag. So start with about four cups and let that incorporate. That's gonna look a little chunky, a little chunky uh, for a little bit. But once it starts to smooth out, you will see it start to stick to the sides. And here it's already starting to happen. It kind of gets stuck on the paddle or um, the dough hook. Actually, it's the dough hook that we're using on this. I'm sorry. I think I said paddle before, but it's the dough hook. Kind of gets stuck on there and then just kind of start sticking to the sides. Thank you. 
And then when you get to this point, you will turn the mixer down a little bit and add one more cup of the powdered sugar and get that incorporated. Now's the time to go ahead and put your already pre-made fondant into the microwave for 40 seconds to soften it up. Now turn off your mixer and use some shortening on your hands. This is the easiest way to get the marshmallows unstuck from your attachment. Why do I keep doing that? Your dough hook. <laughs> Just pull that off there and then put your fondant as much as you can scrape out of the bowl back into the bowl that has the rest of the powdered sugar. Now you're not gonna probably use all this powdered sugar. It kinda depends on the time of the year. In a drier season, you're not gonna use it all. You kinda learn when by feel and when you pull it when it has incorporated enough powdered sugar. Now you're gonna mix as much as you can. Just use your hands. Right at this point I could tell that I had incorporated enough of the powdered sugar. So I just go ahead and actually that's un unfortunately waste, but it's better to have too much than not enough. Just take the powdered sugar away, put a little bit of shortening on your surface, and knead it with your hands. You're gonna wanna knead this until it is soft, and pliable, and stretchy. And now is the point where you're going to add in your store-bought fondant. What this does actually is it kind of a fondant extender. You get way more out of this than you would just a box, but you get the pliability and the workability of the marshmallow fondant. So it's kind of the, the best of both worlds. It tastes like the marshmallow fondant, but it has more bulk to it. It goes further because the amount of store-bought fondant that you're using is about the size you would get in a small box of, or a medium, you know, your standard side box, size box in the store and when I pulled on it just then that's what you want it to be like that's when you know that it's in the good spot now you'll roll this into a ball put a layer of shortening on it and then I like to either wrap it in one layer one to two layers of saran wrap and then put it in a large ziploc bag I did not have any so I actually wrapped it you only see me wrapping it in one layer but I did do three and this fondant can be used immediately. That's another good thing about it with the, um, just your standard marshmallow fondant recipe, you have to let it rest overnight. But since you have the store-bought mixed in there with it, you can use it right away. I love that about it. Cause sometimes you think you have enough and you don't. So you last minute have to make more and then you don't have to wait till the next day to finish it up. So there you go guys. You can store this in the refrigerator for months, 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 months. Well, okay, maybe not that long. So maybe, I would say three months, you could store this in the refrigerator and it's not gonna go bad and it's gonna be yummy. To get it more workable again, just go ahead and stick it in the microwave if it's too stiff for 10 second intervals until it gets to the pliability that you want. So there's my most favorite marshmallow fondant recipe. I hope you liked it. If you did, like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See you next time, bye. Mm -hmm.